it's kind of like fucking over the top. It's like you need a base, it's a castle. You need a colony, it's it's the fucking colossal city, you know. <laughs> and same same goes for mining. I've hit bedrock in this game, and I, apart from myself, I don't know anybody else that would fuck around doing that. I actually purposely try to do it to the depth that I have. Oh, there was a wolf. I forgot that there are like fucking wolves and dogs and shit. And here I am going into the Greenland like it's not even a problem. And this area is like the area polluted with like, you know, all your, your dogs and stuff. Alright, so here's my bedrock mine. Give me that. Okay, dokie. So I'm going to have to be careful. I'm going to be mining around this. But I don't know if I can see the... Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Don't fall in. Um, that's right. It's over here that you can see the bottom from it. So if I stand out here. Yeah. You can kind of see the bottom down there. So that's where it is. It, it, this is pretty fucking deep hole in here, but I don't I don't need to mine the rock and stuff. Um, <laughs> I just need to mine like the surface area around here. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna just go for a little lap, my auger. Hopefully it's not too loud. Yeah, you should be able to pull up pretty much like any any of the commands in that list just by like typing or copy pasting them and stuff like that. Like, the whole purpose of it is that you guys get a bit more of a chance to um, just bring up socials or anything like that whenever you, whenever it's conversationally appropriate or feel like it. Also, there'll be other features too, like um, ability to duel. Uh, what else is there? There's, like, gamble, which, like, you get to gamble your points, stuff like that. You can give other people your points if, like, you're... Uh, heavy GD watcher or something like that. You know, all sorts of stuff. So I don't want to go too far from the edge here, but I also don't want to... I don't want to hit close enough that I actually get rid of it. I just want the clay level. I'm going to get so much um, plant fibers doing this too. All I'm trying to do is make enough cobblestone that if I have to fortify... Like the outside of the building I can. If I make the cobblestone while I'm cutting trees, then I'm kind of like doing two things at once in like a, a way that allows me to to kind of keep like playing without much interruption. Well, apart from like zombie hordes and stuff like that, or packs of fucking dogs and shit, you know. That happens. I just wait until like a roaming pack of dogs like finds its way in here. The, the general scream and recoil and running away will happen. Also, if you're wondering, crouching with an auger helps you kind of move at a more kind of stable pace. If you're in like the right groove here, if I go down one more, down one more, you can kind of just move very naturally through it at a like relatively good speed. If you get like the pace going, I'm not I'm out of practice. But man, I can fucking, like, mine for hours without any issues. And one of those, like, on our server, if you need something, like, mined or planted or built, I'm, like, the person that does that. Or even farming and stuff like that. I'm, I'm kind of, like, the community builder and stuff. And um, what we're looking at doing in the future is we're going to have, like, a town hall for everybody. Um, because I've got a few friends and stuff that, uh, play on my private server and stuff. And so we normally have, we normally have, like, our individual bases, but we've come to the agreement this time that we're going to have a collective town hall, a town center, so to speak. So any surplus of resources and stuff like that's going to get put there, unless, like, you need a specific thing or a specific amount or something for yourself to, like, build something. And then that way, um, if if I was to like log on and I needed say steel, or one of my friends needs like acid or something like that, and I've found acid but I don't need it, or they've mined steel, 
and I need it, I can just get it from the town centre. It's not a problem. There's no like borrowing or buying or anything like that. It's just full on sharing. You know they do like a pretty good job of like sharing resources and stuff like that, but when our bases are too far apart, it makes it very difficult. It makes it a lot easier when um, we have like a collective center area. Pretty sure one of our maps we had all three major bases. And three different, like, ends of the map. Every time you wanted to travel to one or the other, it was, like, five plus kilometers, which is a fair amount of time to, like, walk or ride or whatever. It was a lot better once we got, like, the gyrocopters and stuff. I don't know how much clay I've got so far. Not too bad. Tell you what, let's start making oh I'll repair that soon and then I'll um and then I'll start making some stuff. Go for a residential resource gatherer in the game. Oh, what's that? You always do a support role when playing online. Yeah, no, we we definitely get um one of one or two people end up being like the scavenger looter kind of role. And like that's that's what they love, like going out, fighting the zombies, finding the stuff, um, and bringing bringing back stuff. Like that's that's what they live to play the game for. And so like we just we don't fight it. It's like you know we don't ask that person, hey, can you build something? Um, we just say, yeah, if you want to go and do that, let me know if you're going to do like a big place, and we'll come and help. And for the most part, like everybody just does their part. It's only really like when we have like a few of the bases. Like we've had a few different combinations. We've had uh, everybody in one place before. That was horrible. Uh, everybody hated it because everybody has a different uh, style of gameplay. And then we had uh, two ba two main bases and we had three. Um, I think the most we've had is four or five around the place. And that got confusing because if you if you make a base in a place that ends up being like a quest, you can accidentally reset somebody's whole base, um, which you don't really want to do. Or you can be like in the process of looting a town and then just like rock up and find somebody's stash and be like, oh, this is where they've set up. So that could be a problem too. But um, mostly like, there we go. Mostly our server's pretty good. We normally have like pretty solid communication. Okay, now we'll start making that while I'm doing this. The funny thing is, if you're building something while you're mining, you can get, like, really serious XP. Um, Zomboid playthrough. Oh, yeah. I got a few friends that really enjoy Zomboid. Uh, Zomboid. Um, it's something about the... I don't know how to say it. Like, either the perspective or the art style or something. That kind of puts me off the game. But, like, I do like some of the features and stuff of it. You know, like, makes it harder than this game in some ways. But, yeah. That sounds pretty cool, though. Gather and Defender. I think the thing is, like, I end up... I end up making, like, every base a fucking fortress. So, for me... Um... I end up requiring like a certain amount of resources and if it's something I need I don't have a problem going and getting it or if it's something that I know that like the group needs I have no problem like going and farming it like for instance there's only one other server member that actually likes to do gardening um, and so we have like a combined base and we try to have in the beginning we try not to have like a lot of overlapping stuff so we can maximize what resources we can kind of grow and then we share seeds and stuff like that to make sure our farms and stuff like get bigger and um, once that's all done then we end up like having just like two collective farmers in the game. What is... <laughs> I'm like what is this like like point sticking out? I've also done like one lap so far. I'm just gonna skim off this whole surface up until like the edge of there. Whoa, zombies! There we go. 
Uh, get back to this. So its appearance has been pushing you away for a long time, so I to just get it recently. Uh, it's eating way too much of your time because it's a little too addictive. So it's basically like RimWorld then, where it's like the graphics puts off a lot of people to want to play it, and then you actually get it and play it, and you're like, holy fuck, how how did I lose like eight to sixteen hours playing this thing? Um, I could definitely understand that kind of logic. I think the other thing too is like, I'm hesitant to get another game that I'm so heavily addicted to. Um, Seven Days to Die is one of those ones where I can play it for six, 12 months, year and a half maybe, um, and I've got no issues at all. And yet everybody else that I know is bored shitless of the thing. Uh, it's same with RimWorld, like, I can just keep playing it, like, I just enjoy it. So long as, like, I, I can keep finding, like, challenges and stuff for myself, I, it's, I don't need any mods, it's just vanilla. Um, I mean, one day I'll complete a lot of stuff and then I'll probably start moving up into things, but until then, you know, it's all fine, you know? Um, that's another game, too, that reminds me of. It's like um, Oxygen Not Included. I, I really like the look of that game, but I'm so bad at it. Like, I can only play it in sandbox mode because I cannot keep... Anyway. I cannot keep my um, colony alive in that game. No matter how hard I try. It's pretty much the only reason why I won't stream the game. <laughs> Because, like, I have to use sandbox to get anywhere. But mind you, I, like, build, like, pretty fucking colossal bases with it. Have fun. Um. Oh, shit, my coffee. I don't forget that. Ugh, it's like... Almost warm. Went from like really, really hot, like too, too hot for my mouth. And now it's like, blah. I always forget about it. It's one of those games which you always wanted to um, play, but you never got around to it actually buying it for some reason. I didn't knock that over, did I? Hold up, is the integrity of over here affecting over... Ooh. Yeah, that might be. Hold up, let me get near the edge. There's a chicken! I saw you. That is also dug underneath, like, by about four or five blocks that way. Here you are. Come on. There we go. Also, that noise is when you hit bedrock. Yeah, so all... All along the ground there. It looks like it goes down nice and neat, but it actually indents. Where is it? Like there. By about four backwards. The whole way around. I tried to collapse it, and that does not happen in this game. Um, I don't know. I got oxygen not included at some point. I'm not sure when it happened, but it sort of came out, and I'm like, I like some of the stuff from... I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but from Clay, Clee, whatever. Um, I play, what is it, Don't Starve Together. I like that one. I actually had like a long running game with that with um, a group of friends at one point, And that was fantastic. Like we went through like so many seasons. We ended up having like a pretty solid like little home. And yeah, it, it was pretty great. Only thing is, like, obviously other games get released and people lose interest and stuff, but, um, because I like that game, I'm like, obviously, like, Oxygen Not Included is going to be probably something I enjoy because I like their style and I like, like, their logic behind stuff. So I got it and I'm like, it's hard as shit to play. And the, probably the, the worst part is I got into sandbox mode, like, super quick. It's one of those ones where I'm like, what's sandbox mode? And I opened it, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, now I can't play. I can't play well without using sandbox mode. 
Like, I always have temperature issues, oxygen issues, all the things. I should actually play it one Wednesday. So you guys can, like, watch me fail so hard. Because I don't get very far. Like, I play on, like, all the sped ups and stuff like that. I play on, like, like the super, super easy. And I still don't do well. Like, you know, the one where not much happens and you get plenty of time to fix it. And I, like, see that there's a problem and I do nothing to fix it. And then everybody's dying and crying and puking and soiling themselves. And just having full-on tantrums and being useless. And I'm just like, you people. <laughs> and I'm like, it's actually me that I didn't react sooner. But, you know... <laughs> It's too late by that point and the colony basically just dies or has to die. Oh, jeez. That's the edge of the drop-off right there. Yeah, no, there's going to be, like, the whole point of, like, the random Wednesday and stuff like that is it gives me an opportunity to, like, play some of the other games and, like, show off, like, either how good or how bad I am at some stuff. And a lot of the time it's, like, how bad I am at other games and, like, why my chosen ones are where they are. Um, I'm going to mine this. I do hope that they improve, like, the sounds that they chose for this in the future. Because, like, when you mine a rock, it, to me, sounds very strange. But when you mine a tree, it sounds a lot stranger. It sounds like plastic squeaking. And, I don't know, I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a fucking lumberjack. I don't know if trees squeaky when you, like, chainsaw them but a couple of ones that I've cut down don't. I must admit, this thing, I feel like this thing used to be a lot louder and a lot quieter in different versions. I used to make caves underground. Oh, thank you. I used to make caves underground where I'd um, mine in the darkness in a completely closed off area for ages so people zombies and stuff can't get to me at all and it's great but you lose perspective of time very easily in there also depth because it's very dark and i was guilty of prawning again by the way i'm glad you posture checked i did change a lot of my redeem points um not the amount that's required to redeem something but the amount of people and quantity of the redeem and stuff like that because um, I lowered it a little while ago and I think I made everything a little bit too low so I'm just trying to trying to adjust stuff till it's kind of comfortable that everybody gets a, ch a chance to like use stuff and or like you know is appropriate for whatever the redeem is and this is one of those things I forgot I had purple hair. I just looked over and I'm like, oh, that's right. I'm fucking beautiful. <laughs> I I have to, like, ignore my avatar a lot. Because otherwise I'll sit there and I'll just stare at her. Um, even though she, like, doesn't do too much yet. Like, I just so... I don't know. So entranced watching, my, like, watching myself talk, I guess. Which is a really horrible thing to say. I'm like, could I be any more like self? Um, what do you? Call it's not like self-centered or whatever, but like, there's there's a word for it. I'm not sure what it is. I'm getting closer to this. I don't. I just want to scrape off the top layer of all of this. How am I going with the cobblestone making? Pretty good. I'll have to repair that soon. No, thank you. It was quite funny. After I got Affiliate um, on... I think I got the notice of Affiliate after a... was a... It was right after a, a Seven Days to Die stream. It was like an hour or so after I finished. And I'm like, okay, well, I really need to get my avatar underway then because, like, I had planned to make her in time for when I became Affiliate, not the other way around. And I literally, like finished what I was doing for the night and then sat down and spent like eight or so hours drawing her. I don't even know how long. I just know that like it was probably like almost lunchtime by the time I finished like uh, just pencil drawing her. 
um, just so I could like get as much of it accurate and right as I wanted. And like there were a few parts that like weren't right, and I'm like it's fine. Like she doesn't need to be absolutely perfect, but um, then basically I started I think ten days or so of just drawing her uh, with the computer and stuff. I still I'm gonna get. I'm going to be adding in two more hair colors as well because that'll be the easiest thing that I can add in next as long as the um, PNG tuber program allows it I'll set it up for all the um, outfit variations but there could be two more hair colors coming soon-ish like give me time <laughs> I'll get there I'm just kind of like I'm on the cusp of not knowing with one of them if I want it to be an ombre or if I want it to be like at the moment you see her with like the purple hair as she is and she's got like highlights and uh, lowlights and stuff like that I'm just like normal like that I don't know which <laughs> uh, it just means people gotta be watching people gotta, people gotta be here gotta um, gotta catch the streams gotta gotta watch longer interact more um people got to consider subscribing to get multipliers if if that's something they can do whoops oh shit that's a fucking that's a dead drop um okay that's that's going to be a surprise for later that'll be something i prepared later <laughs> i'll tell you what i'll find that at some point and i won't be happy about it <laughs> time is it it's it's only 8 30 in game so i don't really want to be working on the the wood uh till about the lunchtime in game get that fixed up Let's get more cobblestones rolling after it and the funny thing is if you have a look down in the corner of the screen near near my avatar you can see like just the amount of xp and stuff that i'm crafting like non-stop like all the stuff that you craft gives you XP. So I have a constant stream of XP going while I'm mining, which gives you XP as well for mining. So this is why I can get to a really high level as fast as like all my counterparts that go out and do the harvesting and the looting and fighting and stuff like that. Although I do believe that Fun Pimps is not, not on board with being like the uh, builder gatherer type people. So I believe that they're intending to nerf this kind of thing. It was said like a year or two ago. It was really, really old conversation. So I don't know if things have changed. But from what I understand, um, you shouldn't get as much experience from doing this kind of stuff. Which would kind of suck. But, I mean, it's not really going to stop me from doing it. It's just going to make it harder for me to level. I'm like pretty excited to see what they do when they like bring out stuff. I'm hoping to have an extra day of the week up and running by then. Hoping to end up with um, five days a week instead of four streaming days a week so that I can do like an additional game, maybe. Like either an additional game or when seven days comes out with um, their Alpha 21, I'd like to be able to stream it on a couple of days. Just because the server's going to be pretty active. And if I don't play it frequently enough, I'll um, I'll kind of fall behind my server mates. Man, all of this. So, I'm not sure entirely. Um, pretty sure it's like... I think night time's about 5... Five or so minutes or something like that. I think a day is supposed to be about an hour, give or take. But I think like nighttime somewhere between like five and seventeen. I've timed it once, but it doesn't. I don't know. Depending on how I've got each one set up, because we sometimes change how long a day is, either faster or shorter. And I think this one's set up as an hour. Sometimes when we want to make it harder for ourselves, we make it um, like half an hour for a day. Because then you only get like a few minutes to get out and find something before you have to deal with night time. Hey man, 
Were you alone? It looked that way. I've got this wooden wall mostly so that people don't um, fall into the bedrock mine. I did not I did not put this up originally and one of my server mates fell in on one of their drives. They were not particularly happy about it because A, you can't get out of it without glassing out um, and B, was the fact that it like, kind of fucked up their car and person who did not have parkour so they got pretty injured. It was also like, oh shit kind of moment when they just found this giant hole. But um, it also... It also sometimes helps you see where zombies are coming from. Um, it also stops like just roaming animals from just getting in here most of the time. Like sometimes they'll get through a wall and there's nothing much you can do about it. It's not like I've upgraded or anything. It's mostly just like I'll hear them before I see them, hopefully. Especially like when you get like the the dog packs and stuff like that. Like I'm not a big fan of getting six dogs spawn and wander in. I'm gonna go backwards. I'm nearly there. By the look of it, it's only got this little bit around to there, so there'll be plenty of clay. And then I could go and cut some trees down. And it's almost time to do that anyway, so that should be fine. That should be good timing. I must admit, the auger is so much better than a fucking shovel. I think you do get a little bit more stuff with a shovel. But it's so much fucking faster. If you're just trying to terraform a little bit, it's great. Plus, it doesn't really affect your stamina or anything. Okay, well, a couple bits that's higher than others, but that's fine. That does mark where it used to be. I just gotta not fall in here. I don't have any glass or anything, so I, I can't get back out. I'd have to dig my way back up. I'm not looking forward to that. I say in that sense that I'm not looking forward to it, but the amount of times I've accidentally fallen into this thing is more times than one, so it's possible. Plus, that is, there is a dead drop hole over here somewhere. So, uh, I think it stays clay for like two or three blocks and then goes to sand and rock. Or whatever the mineral is in the area. In this case, this place was mostly steel, like iron and steel. Um, and some nitrate. I think I found the nitrate kind of later, but it had like a good amount of like metals and stuff in here. So I sent, I spent ages in here. Um, get in here. I'm nearly there. And when it hits 12, I kind of want to stop and go and like hit up some trees. Maybe even just like some trees in this area would be fine. It'd be like tall redwoods and stuff like that. So there should be maybe 1200s. Get me some good wood out of this area. And then I could go back and keep like uh, building and, and making shit. I need a fair, bit, a fair amount of wood to upgrade the boxes that I've got and have made. I'm pretty sure that place had boxes downstairs. I do remember making that. I just don't know if I upgraded them. I definitely know that I didn't upgrade stuff to cobblestone, but I want to do the outside of the building to cobblestone or steel. Yeah, I do hope that they bring back that you have to go... Uh, what was it? Cobblestone to iron to steel or something like that. Cobblestone to cement, iron, and steel. Instead of uh, cement to steel. Because it kind of like jumps one. I sort of hope that they bring back in that extra kind of level. It just makes it a little bit harder to fortify things to the maximum. Plus, it is also a resource that's in abundance that you 
don't really use for a lot of stuff beyond building. This is nearly done. Almost. And it's a lot more visible, so when it comes to nighttime and stuff, if I have to come out here again for something, it shouldn't really be a problem. If I didn't have parkour, I'd jump down there and I would die. For sure. <laughs> 